Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm not feeling too well at the moment. I've sort of been off for a week <coughs> because I have had the cold, the flu, and a bug that's going on around here, and I've had no. <coughs> that's why I haven't uploaded and shot many videos. But one of the things I have done this week which uh, if you're a member of the Modico forums uh, that I'm guessing some of you are if you're a member of some of the Modico forums you will uh, have come across my ZT present and as you can see if I do the light the right way you can see that nasty crack right down the screen a couple of days ago I cracked my screen and I was absolutely devastated it is one of those I can't believe I just done this and I felt like a right prat and I took it upon myself to take the device apart to find out how easy it is to replace the digitizer which is the glass on top which is cracked um, turns out it's incredibly hard it's not this device is nothing like the original San Francisco the original San Francisco was relatively easy. It was easy to take apart. It was easy to root. It was easy to unlock. With the um, skate and the Crescent or the Monte Carlo and the San Francisco 2, Orange um, <coughs> slash ZTE had made it more difficult. And the teardown for this was incredibly difficult. And in during the teardown, I. Uh, I'm going to put it as nice as possible. I was a little bit hand fisted, and whilst trying to remove the upper, uh, if I take the battery cover off, whilst trying to remove the motherboard from this section here, I actually somehow managed to snap off the soldered power button. So this hole here, yep, that, that black hole, that should not be black, that should not be empty, that should have a chrome silver power button. And I can actually show you the teeny tiny part which I managed to snap off. In my fingers. Yep. I just dropped my broken power button. That's the I managed to break my power button, and I am trying to find someone who is skilled enough at micro soldering to be able to reattach it. But that's a different point. Uh, when I put the device back together, I found out um, all my the digitizer still works. I reattached it all properly. The digitizer works. It's just a bit. Um, cracked. So when I found out that I tried as hard as I could pardon me. I tried as hard as I could to try and find a button remapping software. And I did. I found an app on the marketplace by a developer called Destil D E S T I L called Fix Broken Power Button. Or something yeah, Fix Broken Power Button. It's free. It's incredibly simple. Sorry about that, guys. It's free. It's incredibly simple. Pardon me. And basically, what it does, it puts a. See if this will focus. Can't see it, unfortunately. There, here is too much glare from the light. That that's slightly better. There you go. Here, right by my pinky finger, there is a virtual power button which works as. So I'll turn this back off now. Otherwise, it's white. If I tap, if I tap said button, it acts as the power off button, and the volume. I don't remember which volume button it is. It always.
always seems to work as a live demonstration when everything goes wrong, isn't it? Must have. Oh, there you go. I just had to mash it a couple of times. Um, the volume button wakes said device, and then you can unlock it. So that's a pretty simple software uh, app. In, if in case you do break your power button, like I did, there you go. Worked first time that time. Lock it. Volume. Unlock. It's really hard to face in this way. But yeah, it sort of saved me getting rid of the device. Otherwise, I would have had to uh, get rid of it. Spares repairs. Obviously, I'm nowhere near skilled enough to do micro soldering as much as I wish I could. Um, but yeah, that app is free. The developer is Destil. The search fix broken power button, and it's, I think it's the first one that shows up. It is incredible, and it is a lifesaver, especially for me, because like I said, I love my device. I love my San Francisco too, and do you know what? If it did completely break. If it was, if it turns out I can't, I, that was really odd. If it turns out that I have ripped the power button off in such a fashion that it's not repairable, I'll probably end up buying another San Francisco, I'm not going to lie. But I would probably use this as an Android powered alarm clock. Because it's really actually quite loud. But um, yeah, that's it. So, three things. A. Don't take a pot oil into San Francisco too. Take it to a phone shop. If they mess it up, it's their fault, not yours. Two. Two. Get this app. It is great. Um, like I said, it's fixed broken power button by Death Till in the market. I've rated it a five. It's brilliant. Third and finally, do not come anywhere near me for about the next two weeks because I feel like crap and I don't want to give it to anybody. I'm reluctant to leave my but this is Dom from mobile Dom.co.uk until next time guys peace